This is Jeff with Shout Out Minnesota, and we are here with Pat Nishak. Pat, welcome. Uh, we're here at the AME Sports Crave the Auto Holiday Show uh, back in Minnesota. All right. Yep, uh, yep. So let's talk a little bit about uh, your time here in Minnesota and uh, how was it for you? Your experience for you? You know, it it, it was it was unbelievable. Um, you know, growing up here, going to high school, and uh, you know, this is I've been here since I was five years old, and uh, getting drafted by the Twins. You know, you, you think it's pretty cool, but then you you realize it's going to be really tough to make it up, and, and then I made it up, and uh, there was nothing better than making my uh, th that first year debut with the Twins and, and playing at the Metrodome and looking up at a lot of the seats that I played in and, and uh, you know it, it was great I kind of took it for granted um, you know I, I've been with five other teams now and and uh, there's nothing better than being at home um, you know I miss those days I wish you know <laughs> I wish I could you know you, you could have those back but uh, that's baseball yep uh, well we appreciate you having you back here because I know a lot of the fans enjoyed uh seeing you today. Um, so let's, let's talk a little about uh, your debut as a Major League uh, Baseball player. What was that experience like for you? Oh, nerve-wracking. I, I, I got called up in, in, July, in July, oh, what was it, July 5th. So my debut was the 6th, the next day, and it was down in uh, Arlington in, uh, against the Rangers. And uh, that was when the Rangers had all the big boppers. Uh, Gary Matthews was having an, uh, you know, uh, an MVP type of year. Uh, uh, who was it? Hank uh, Blaylock was awesome. Teixeira was there. Kevin Manch. I remember all those. Ian Kinsler, uh, Michael Young, and I had to face them all. <laughs> so you know, I was sitting in the bullpen in, in the first game, and uh, uh, I think uh, I think who was on the mound? I think Silva was on the mound. He just got rocked. He gave up like six runs. So they brought in Loesch. He gave up like four. So it was like. Something ridiculous, 10 to nothing. Willie Ear came in for two, and then I got a call down to the pen. Nishak, you're going in the game. <laughs> I'm like, oh, crap, you know, there's two more innings left. I'm going to have to go two innings here. And I think the temperature was about 100. It felt like 120 degrees, but it was hot. But, uh, you know, I tried to stay focused, and, and the first batter, I didn't really even feel myself. It felt so weird out there. I felt like I was just throwing the ball, and I was very, uh, I don't know what the word you want to say. I was uh, very... Uh, you know, susceptible to just getting rocked that day because I was just more happy to be pitching. And my first batter, I, I think, I had a couple strikes on him. It was Kevin Mench, and uh, he took a he took a really good slider and he slapped it to right field for a base hit. And I'm like, holy cow, these guys are good up here. <laughs> but then the next couple guys, I, I got like a deep pop out to. Uh, I, I think I got a ground ball and a deep pop out to right field, and every guy almost went yard to the warning track. But I made it through. I gave up one. That was my only hit. I gave up and uh, went two innings and had a strikeout and. It was fun. I, I think I really, after that, we, we came back to the Metrodome and uh, I pitched there. And I think by that time, all the all the nerves were out of my system. So, but it was it was uh, it was pretty cool. That's that probably besides the All Star Game this year is probably the coolest part of my career. Awesome. Um, now, uh, some players feel like sometimes their careers are kind of like a whirlwind. It just blows right by real quick. Do you get? Do you feel that you have the chance to to enjoy the time being in the major leagues? Yeah, you know it. it uh, you know, I had a lot of success with the Twins in 06 and 07, and then uh, 08 I had the Tommy John. And, uh, you know, up to that point, you know, I kind of I kind of said this was easy. Baseball is going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to play forever. And, uh, you know, I had the injury, and uh, I sat out 08, most 08, and all 09. And, and that's that's the time where uh, that's the time where I really, you know, I said, I can't take this for granted. I really got to enjoy this. And, uh, you know, it just... Uh, you know, I came back in 2010. I said, "This is just really cool to be up here." But, but you know, you still got to work hard, get guys out, and uh, uh, and and for the next couple of years, I did you know tours of the minors, back to the majors, up and down, and uh, that's when I was like, "Man, you know, the, the, the baseball's not as easy as I once remember." <laughs> okay, uh, you've been pretty busy this off season. You got a new contract with a new team. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, you know, I was a free agent for, you know, you have to have six years of service to be a, or, or get released uh, as a minor league, you know. But I had the full six years, so I was a major league free agent for the first time. And, uh, you know, it was it was crazy. You know, you get approached from many teams. Uh, you have people calling you from everywhere, trying to uh, persuade you to go over to places. And it's kind of funny because last year I was trying to get a minor league deal and only two teams called out of the whole entire big league. So it, it was... Kind of a, a big swing for, for about nine months. Uh, 
I remember begging pretty much last year in February, and, and okay. it was hard to even get takers on that. So actually, it was cool. Um, you know, uh, uh, the Cardinals at first didn't they, they thought I was out of the price range, so that was out of the order. They didn't no offers were even made or, or talked about. So, and, and I would have loved to have went back, and, and it was I was kind of mad about that. But uh, you got to move on. It's baseball, mm -hmm. and then uh, you know you just get you know a lot of teams really came on strong there and. Uh, you know, you got to sit down with your family and just decide what you want. <laughs> and, uh, of course, you settled on? The, the Houston Astros. The Houston Astros. Yep. Uh, to your deal. Congratulations on that. Yeah, thank you. Um, well, I thank you a lot for your time. Um, I know we've been busy here and we got some things to do. So uh, we're going to wrap it up here. Can you give one last shout-out to the fans of Minnesota? Yeah, you know, I love you guys. <laughs> I miss you, and uh, hopefully one day I'll be back pitching for you guys. Thanks.